everybody, Dangerous Minds here, just letting you know, this is part three of the interview between Kovac and Kessinger on the 23rd of August 2018, and it's in the Lakewood, Colorado offices. Um, it would be greatly appreciated if we could get the contacts from this phone to just go to this phone. Right. To them. Okay. That's all I want to do. And I went to Verizon to switch the, to this phone, and all they did was give me this little sheet of paper to follow, which seems very simple, and I'm usually pretty tech savvy. Okay. <laughs> so are your contacts on this phone synced to the cloud, to the iCloud? I don't know. Okay. But I don't really know. So maybe I'm not as tech savvy as I thought. What do you remember? You just said you remember something besides that. Were you oh, you want to have a conversation right now? He's an agent. He okay. works with me. He, he knows about this. I can thing. step out if you feel more comfortable. Oh, it, no, it, I mean, what it's I, okay I don't know. It, whatever. You, know, you tell me. He had a fire stick. He kept talking about, like, you know what a fire stick is? No. Okay, you probably do since you're a tech guy. They're like... Mm. Okay. Oh, you mean like an Amazon fire stick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so he didn't have it in his possession, but on Who's Saturday... Who's Chris? Yes. So Chris mentioned to me that on Saturday, that same day, um, that... Oh, because this kind of went hand in hand with the whole, like, apartment talk, because I was like... Oh, that apartment that he said he found, that uh, he was like... I was like, what's it called? And he's like, I don't remember. And I was like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's close to 1100 And I was really taken back by that because I pay more than that and I don't really have that nice of a place and it's not a two bedroom, it's a one. So that part kind of seemed odd to me, but I'd seen a few things online that were kind of cheap and I was just like, all right. And he's like, I'm just trying to cut costs. And I was like, that's cool. I was like, how else are you doing that? And it was just out of curiosity. And he's like, well, I decided to get rid of cable. And I was like, okay. And I was kind of taken back by that too, because he loves sports. Dude, like, lives and breathes football. So, I, uh, I was like, okay. And I was like, that's a good cost to, you know, to cut back on. And he was like, yeah, I think I can watch still stream sports via a fire stick. And I've heard of those things before. I don't really know a lot about them. Um, but he was saying that he had a buddy working on it already for him. Who's the buddy? He didn't say, I didn't ask. Why do you think that's important? That he had all that set up? I don't know. I mean, it made me believe like, that. That he was ready to move out? Is that? Oh, I get what you're saying. Go. Yeah, like he was prepping. It still sounded like he was okay. prepping. I mean, everything he did sounded like he was getting ready for everything to happen. The only thing that I found really peculiar about the whole situation was the fact that he just kind of seemed disconnected about the apartment thing on Saturday, whereas in previous conversations, he was the one who brought it up, and he was the one who seemed really excited about it when I offered to help him do some like legwork on it and find him a spot for him and his girls. Right. I'll be right back. Okay. So I don't, I don't know who his friend was. It was just weird because sometimes it seemed like some of the things he said, he was still really... Well, you know a lot more now. Well, unfortunately, you know a lot more now about terrible things that may have happened that changed the way you're thinking about what he said, too. Right? And just live a normal life. Stop thinking about this stuff for a day or two. I lost my job yesterday, so that's where that comes from. You can, lost your job with the geosciences place as well? Okay, sorry to hear that. Well, your name hasn't even made it in the papers yet. Not yet. So, remember you said that you had some locations you could go out of state? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that's what you're thinking or whatever is going to work for you. I think I was just so bummed because they told me that they would keep me and then they called me back and let me go and I was just like, man. It was unfortunate because Anna Darko actually offered to pay me for a while and Tasman said no. And hopefully somebody somewhere will give me a decent job and give me a chance and not judge for all of this 
Disaster. Yeah, I'll just go download this to my computer real quick. There, so I think, so it's a month. It ends on the 13th, and that's why I was saying when they bill me next month, then I can give you the 14th and pass that. The, the on-build one is like in this janky Excel format, and you could like manipulate the data. You could, I don't, I don't so want to give it. what is on here specifically, PDF of your complete phone bill for your cell phone? That ends on August 13th. Okay. So when she started it, this phone's like two years old. Okay. But when she turned it on, a bunch of deleted messages from Chris that were on that uh -huh. phone synced up with that phone. Okay. So that's the one I want to try to rip. Okay, so we're going to download can. this yeah. phone. But this one's coming as evidence. Yeah. Exactly. Here. Okay. So this one's going to be coming with us as evidence. That one okay. will just rip, so she has a phone. Okay. I need you to log into Google. I was trying to figure this out. I don't know. Oh, okay. Mm, that might be an issue. I know. <laughs> I mean, if you guys really can't do it, I'm trying well, to go through there, and figure there, out. There's it. another way we can do it, or we can try. Man, I'm usually really good about passwords, but this one. Oh, that sucks, but it's okay. I mean, well, there's another there's another thing that we can try. Sorry for nope. the convenience. So I think your contacts should be... the iCloud now. I don't know what time it is. Yeah. Hello. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm alright. I like your little blouse and you like to go Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, I don't take too much time. Can you tell me something? Hello. You, I have that now. I have the lease. I'll give it to Hazel. Okay. Um, did he get your phones taken care of? I don't know. He took them both. All right. He's going to try. I'll step out for a few minutes. Okay. Give you guys a few seconds. All right. If you remember anything else, we'll talk before you leave. Hazel said she knew that you had been fired. So um, maybe get some advice on that, too, about potentially leaving here and starting, starting a new somewhere else. I've spent all day trying to do stuff for these guys, yeah. so I haven't had a chance. Or at the very least, negotiate a positive um, referral to another agency or something. I mean, they told me they'd give me that. He seemed really taken back when I asked them, but I was like, can you at least give me a positive referral? I mean, I did great work for those guys. Mm -hmm. They're definitely going to miss me being on their team, for sure. Well, and it wasn't something I wanted to do. I was trying to avoid that situation, but mm -hmm. I've just been, like, inundated with phone calls and texts about it, so I was like, all right, talk to my dad, and I was like, do we do damage control on the rest of these people so that they're prepared or not? And he was just like, yeah, we'll do it. So I just called like my closest friends and I didn't say anything about the case or that I was a witness. I just told them, it's like, hey man, I need you to do this for me. Like, to me, it comes to your door asking you questions, just tell no comment. Please take all the pictures that you have of us off of social media. And I love you and I'm safe. <sighs> and I didn't break any laws. There'll be plenty of time for the rest of your life to take care of people. Right now you just need people to take care of you. I text you guys in the middle of the night every time I'm stressed you now. Oh. Well, I didn't know what time you were coming in today, and I have another appointment that okay. is coming in. Okay. So I'm going to do an agent go back to that, too. That's okay. So that you're not sitting in here all by yourself? Okay. Because <laughs> it's not a pleasant room to be hanging out in. No, not at all. <laughs> we're trying to get your phones to work. I know. But you don't remember your Google account? I should, to be honest with you. It's, like, programmed into my... my the two places I use it all the time, and so I don't have to remember. Do you have it somewhere else? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure I can okay. like reset it and figure it so out. So what else? Point just making I'm sure you have a phone that's going to be usable. What else? Anything else while we're here? Sometimes I feel like I remember stuff, but it's like vague. I know I tried to get you to remember as much as I could because a lot of the stuff that you have told me over the last couple conversations is is relative and it's important. I don't think you can remember anything more. We've had a lot of conversations about this case. Go have dinner with one of your friends, like Charlotte or whoever your other friends are. Go have a normal night and not sit at your house and dwell on this. It might do you wonders, okay? Are they gonna post anything if they don't find out anything? Cause I'm just surprised they haven't- About what? Yet. About me. I mean, it's been four 
our day. You know and that they are dying to find out who you are. I know. They haven't even reached my inner circle yet. That's been four days. You got good friends. Yes, I do. You know, you said you're thinking about going somewhere else. Go. I don't know yeah. when I'm going to do that. Can you guys help me with the name change? You like to do that. I'm serious. Please. So, I can't do anything for you? Uh, and maybe ask an attorney to help you with that. Or seek advice from... I don't even know who you'd call. I mean, I could find out and let you know. And if I do a background on you, you're a good employee. It doesn't come up that you dated Chris Watts and you're involved in this case. It doesn't work that way. You know, it's not the theater event that happened in Aurora seven years ago, right? That everybody in the world knew about. I'm trying to find out how to do all this without spending all my savings. <laughs> Saving up for a house and I'm just like, damn it. But at least you have savings to fall back on, too. A lot of people can't say that. Yeah, that is true. Uh, well, since they fired me, hopefully I can get unemployment for a little while so I can, like, get my mind right and go to therapy and then go back to work at that point because I am not ready. It's hard. This was, like, the dream job. I feel awful about all of this. Like, I wanted that for so long to get out of the oil field. I was so tired of living on oil rigs. It's such a rough life. I just want to be in the office and work in environmental for an oil company and I finally got it and all this happened. Am I in trouble because I related to sex? You're not in trouble. I didn't know what was going on at no. that point. So, <laughs> I know if, is there, does that cause question? Of course it, of course it does. does. Now, there is, but is it criminal? No. Is there concern that you're hiding something? Potentially. That's why I want them, or I wouldn't be asking for them. I know. And you've been, give up, you guys you've been up front with me uh, about everything. I don't have, I don't have a concern that, that, you know, you ever told Chris, I don't want you, you know, go kill your wife. No. Or no. get rid of your kids, or I don't want to date you if you have kids. None of those things no. ever came out of your mouth. We've talked about that. Yeah. So, but until those text messages that are deleted. Um, are there, you know, and all that. It's just speculation. But it, it's kind of like, eh, why did you do that? And I get your excuse. I understand what you're saying, that on Tuesday you real, realized who this man was and what he had done. And you didn't want him to be part of your life anymore, so you got rid of it. I didn't even want to see it in my phone. It was, like, freaking me out, because I remember I had, like, deleted them, and then he sent me another text, and then I deleted that one, too. Right. Because I was like... I don't want to deal with this. By the way, when you're looking through those texts, look for his ABC phone for that one conversation we had where he screenshotted me what he did on Monday. You remember that? Mm hmm Yeah. And you said it, it, that's his Anna Darko phone. Uh-huh. Okay. And that should be the only, like, recent. Like, there's probably stuff if you guys are able to pull up from way, way back that we talked, but <laughs> nothing. The thing we talked about was him proving that he went to the oil field. That he went to work. That he went to work that morning yes. at whatever site he was supposed to go to yeah. to check on the release. So that'll be in there. Release. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, um, and then, I don't know, am I allowed to like address my friends and tell them please no comment to the media? I mean, I haven't been telling them anything else. I, don't know. I would not talk with anybody about any of this case. Except, I mean, I know you talk, You need to talk to a therapist, and you need to talk, I'm sure you're talking to your dad. To some extent. Probably I mean, your closest what's person. Not, well, well, when he's not in here for this, I don't tell him about this. I tell him I'm coming down here, but he doesn't need to know anymore. He's so strange. You're an adult. You made some decisions that caught you in a bad situation. But there's nothing wrong with you talking to somebody. I just wouldn't go into details. No. I haven't even been telling people but I'm a witness for anything. Certainly your best friend, I mean, if I was you, I'd be confiding in my best friend, like, hey, this is what's happening in my life, and I need help. Is there anything wrong with that? No. I mean, that's about as far as confiding has gone, was me telling her about some guy that I was hanging out with, but that was, like, way before any of this. Yeah, and you need support right now, too. So you do, there is no, we're not, you're not in trouble. There's no charges against you. You're simply a witness. I just don't want to like get in trouble for like talking to like my dad or like About asking what? a friend for help. Well, I mean, like what my dad already knows. You know right. what I'm saying? There's nothing to get in trouble for. Okay, I don't know how that works. That's why I'm asking. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, I don't. 
Oh, there's this is yeah. one more thing I don't need on my plate because I right. need, oh my god. You're not you're not um, in trouble. And talking to your friends and family about what's going on isn't gonna get you in trouble. Okay? I don't even want to talk to my friends about it. Because you're not on social media? At all. But right. I mean I eliminated all of that. Right. I like even had the ability to like go through, I went and found everybody I knew that had any public posts and it was just like this needs to be cleared. Right, so you've made it very difficult for them to find you. Do I think eventually that oh. at some point they are going to find you? Sure, of course. I think they're going to find out where I'm staying at? I think that would be really tricky. I don't know. I, you haven't even told me where you're staying. So, no, but and no. I don't know how it's connected to you or your family. So, all right. One more question for you. Yeah. Um, I have jury duty on September 17th. Is that something that I can do, given the fact that of I'm like mid in this mess? Yep. Okay. So just answer the question. They're gonna ask you a bunch of questions. Answer them truthfully. So I are these some of the ones that you um, deleted? I deleted everything that he said.